We turn to Northern Kentucky news now. Searching for a solution. People in our communities want more homes or want homes or apartments, but they can't afford what's on the market right now. A forum tonight, though, will revisit the topic of affordable housing. Our Jake Weil is live, in fact, right now with the, the crucial need and how you can be part of this conversation. Jake. Well, yeah, community leaders are just asking for you to show up to be part of this forum and be part of the plan. This is all about a plan for affordable housing, a big need here in northern Kentucky, according to officials. And they're telling us that plan so far has not been working. The year is 2006, a new plan for the Jacob Price Apartments. Economically inefficient. The costs um, to renovate these would be more than more than to provide uh, new housing. We'll have uh, hardwood floors throughout. But even then, the plan had issues. I do not see uh, a redevelopment plan where the residents will be able to uh, relocate. These apartments torn down and in its wake, River's Edge at East Side Point. It's an affordable housing community, but not large enough to fill the gap from how many people were sent packing from the Jacob Price complex. But the same thing in Newport. I mean, we're seeing housing projects that are torn down. Um, so yeah, when you lose those, where do those people go? And then there's no other housing being developed, so that's an issue. Justin Beal tells me this is one of 92 affordable housing units Welcome House in Covington maintains. They're a nonprofit organization with a goal of getting folks a roof over their head. There is a really great need for affordable housing. What we're seeing is that homelessness is on the rise um, and that the people that we're seeing experiencing homelessness is ever changing. I mean, we're seeing more families um, because two bedroom and three bedroom apartments are so expensive. He's been with Welcome House for eight years. There have been some affordable housing developed, but I, in my experience, have not seen it make a dent in the community. According to the Kentucky Housing Corporation 2016 study, the number of homeless people in Kenton County doubled from one year prior. Beal says the focus for homelessness should be on the underlying problem. People should know there's not enough housing and that, you know, right now we're, we're putting a Band-Aid on many issues, um, but without housing, we're not going to be able to really help people. Um, it's great to provide blankets and, and provide food, but those aren't solving the real issues that are facing the people in our community. Which is why tonight's event coming up with a plan is so important. I don't think a lot's being done in our community right now. I mean, I think tonight at the forum is a great opportunity where people are getting together to discuss it. And if you're interested in the affordable housing event, it is being held here at the Lincoln Grant Schoolhouse on Greenup Street. It does start at 7 o'clock. It runs through 8.30. And night on your side, David Holdhouse is going to be uh, serving as moderator for the event. We'll be there. We'll be providing you updates on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Covington, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.